Hi, it's Stephanie from AWS, and today we're going to talk about gas tungsten arc welding, or more commonly known as TIG welding, carbon steel. Remember, when welding, to ensure you're always in a safe environment and utilizing the correct PPE. For welding carbon steel, we're going to be using 100% argon, and our flow rate will be set around 20 to 25 CFH. Our setup, we're going to be running DC electrode negative, but before we get started, we're going to need to select our electrode. Today, I'm going to be using 2% seriated. Another thing we need to take into consideration is the thickness. Three of the most common tungsten electrodes you're going to find are the 16th tungsten, which is really used for thinner and lighter duty applications. The 332nds tungsten, which we're going to be using for more uh, middle of the range thicknesses. And then the eighth inch tungsten, which is going to be for that heavier applications. For information on any tungsten electrodes, you can always refer to AWS 5.12. Once we've selected our tungsten electrode, we're going to need to match that diameter to our collet body and collet. You can also select a collet body with a lens. These lenses are normally used for specialty steel applications. To finish out your TIG torch setup, you're going to need to select your cup or gas nozzle. These gas nozzles come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and materials, such as porcelain, ceramic, and glass. The selection of your cup is going to be based upon the materials to be welded. The most common style for carbon steel is going to be this number eight. Today we're going to be welding on some quarter inch hot rolled steel. I'm going to be doing a 2F or a horizontal fillet weld. But before we can weld and get a quality weld on this piece, we're going to want to remove that mill scale. This mill scale is this gray, dark gray coating. You're going to want to take that off until it's nice and shiny. When welding a horizontal fillet weld or a 2F fillet, you want to ensure that you have the correct arc gap even though the edges of the cup are resting on the material. You're going to need a 90 degree work angle. I know that the torch looks like it's at a 45 degree, but we need to remember where the access or the throat of the weld is for this particular joint. For this joint, it lies right in this groove. The travel angle for this joint is going to be roughly 20 degrees, just a small tilt back on the torch. The technique that I use for completing this weld is a process called walking the cup. What that means is I take the cup and I basically walk it or ride it along each of these walls. This will give me a nice uniform weld that will ensure penetration. And when welding, that's what we're always looking for. 